Somebody approached me and said, you should do this. And I said, I'm too young. And they said, no, 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 you're, you're the perfect age. You've got enough community experience, you've got a great business experience, and you have this commitment to education. For me, it was an opportunity to bring so many threads together at once, and I couldn't think of a better thing and a better challenge. My name is Deborah Yedlin, and I'm Chancellor of the University of Calgary. And I had a very wide array of, of subjects that I studied when I was in university. I just was curious more than anything else. So I had English, I had economics, I had math, I had chemistry, I had art history. So all those pieces came together to give me a really strong foundation and give me the comfort to sort of look at being able to function in a bunch of different areas. One of the most important influences, of course, was my mother because she was tenured at the University of Alberta at a time when there weren't many women tenured. She had to work in that male-dominated environment and she, in her, in her own way, showed me how women can be colleagues uh, in a male-dominated world and actually, you know, be on a level playing field even though it was a whole lot harder for her than it was for me. My parents were immigrants from Poland and they came to Canada via Israel um, after World War II. My parents kept telling my brother and I that, you know, they'd lost everything, but they had their education, they had the foundation, in my mother's case, for her education. And so, you know, no matter what life sends you, people can take away anything, but they can't take away your education, and they can't take away your knowledge, and they can't take away your skills. My mother's parents survived the war. They ended up moving to Edmonton when I was quite young. And my grandmother would take care of me while my mother was at the University of Alberta. And so on Fridays, she'd bake. And I would sit there and I'd watch my grandmother baking. She'd make challah, she'd make cinnamon buns, but she never wrote anything down. So she'd sit there and she'd just grab whatever she needed and, you know, a few hours later there was challah and there were cinnamon buns and other wonderful things to eat. So when I bake on Fridays, it's sort of like my connection with my grandmother and connection to a tradition because they say Judaism is a dialogue from generation to generation. So that's part of that whole dialogue. One of the things that I grew up with at home was that education was a means in itself, not a means to an end. So there was this transfer of knowledge that you would get from taking classes, studying. What I've done over the years has been able to apply all that knowledge and bring it together and whatever I've been doing, whether it's finance, whether it's journalism, and it's all served me very well. But I never, I've always sort of um, wanted to reach beyond where I was and my education gave me a platform to do that.